six, five, three, two, one, zero, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis on a mission to build, resupply, and to do research on the International Space Station. Houston now controlling. Atlantis begins its penultimate journey to shore up the International Space All right, so what you saw right there was that spaceship on its way to escape velocity. So what is the escape velocity? It's the minimum amount of speed necessary to leave a planet's gravitational force. All right, so to accomplish this, we're going to build an equation. Uh, little m is going to be our spaceship's mass. R is going to be the radius or the distance from the center of the mass of the planet. Uh, M is going to be the mass of the planet, VE, the escape velocity, and G, our gravitational constant. So let's throw that in the top right corner. And this is our uh, conservation of energy formula. So when we're looking at this, its initial speed is going to be equal to the escape uh, velocity, VE. At its final state, we consider the object will be an infinite distance away from the planet and its speed will be so small, we can estimate it to be zero. That means the initial kinetic energy K and the gravitational uh, potential energy UG are the only types of uh, energy that we'll deal with. So you plug that into the, uh, the equation there. We're gonna do a bit of algebra to move things around uh, to isolate our escape velocity. And ultimately we're gonna end up with this. Uh, square root of 2gm over r. So we go ahead and uh, plug these values in. And we're going to end up with this. 11.2 kilometers per second. That's pretty fast. And in meters per second, that's 11,200. So when I first originally did this uh, project, I got kind of curious and I was looking at different... Uh, planetary bodies and objects in the solar system uh, and compared their uh, uh, gate velocities as well. And if you look at our equation, um, since G is, it's going to be a constant. So your M and R, your uh, mass of the body, the planet, and the radius of the, plane, uh, the planet uh, are going to have a big effect on how uh, the escape velocity looks. So for example, we got Mars, about half the size of Earth, and you got a little bit under half uh, the escape velocity at five kilometers per second. And you have the moon, about half the size of Mars. And then you have the sun, which is quite a bit bigger than all three of those. All right, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day. Bye.